What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a healthy vlog. You don't want to see this? Sorry. I've been like trying rollers for my hair. I'm still getting the hang of it. But anyway, I am starting on another health journey, but I think I'm just going to do like healthy vlogs. That's going to be the new series instead of get healthy with me because it's just a mouthful. Um, so if you guys have been around for a while, you guys would have known I started a gut health program. Gosh, it must have been over six months, maybe like eight months ago. After like two months, we were moving into our car, going on the three month road trip. And so it just got way too difficult to balance and like try to stick to the plan when we were constantly on the road and like didn't have access to um <laughs> just like we were looking for like really quick eats and it was just really hard i talked to tani who is the owner of the gut mechanic and she is letting me start the program again from scratch so this is week one of my gut healing program and i struggle with bloating a lot gas just digesting food can be hard yes we are going to heal all of that and the goal of the program is to like really help just transform your diet and focus on like healthy wholesome unprocessed foods and to get to a point where your gut has enough time to heal itself so then you when you do have like a treat like pizza or something like that it's not gonna like totally wreck my stomach so that is like the goal of the four month program if you guys are interested in doing it i will have all the information in the description for you guys to check out tony's great and it's really cool to see some of the changes they've made to the program it's a lot more organized and yeah just a really i don't know it's a good system they have going on and it involves a lot of accountability weekly educational calls weekly check-ins with a coach so that's one thing if you guys need accountability like i do and structure like i do great option for you guys i kind of made an outline of what i need to do today i need to make some nut milk for the week i've been trying to like prep it ahead of time and i've been doing homemade cashew milk lately so we're gonna make that i need to go grocery shopping um i have like a small amazon haul and I also need to print off like a daily habit tracker, which I need to design still because there's like a lot of vitamins and supplements and things I need to be doing throughout the day and drinking water. So I want like a print off for the week so I can just mark as I get done because that's very rewarding for me. Oh, you cutie boy. I figured I would do an outfit of the day because this is a workout healthy theme video. We are wearing this workout set, this one's from Fabletics. And right now I just have this Hawaii sweater over it. Pedal and pup. My gym shoes are currently very dirty. So, no shoes. I'm looking for some like good gym shoe recommendations. I just want like a really staple pair of workout shoes that I love and look very stylish. I don't know if I've shown this in a vlog. I got the Nutter Machine, which I found through Instagram ads, I think. They just know. Instagram really does the best ads. They just always, they just, oh, they just know. They just know what I need. Um, so I've been using the Nutter. This is more like a single serving but I've been able to use it, like I just do two rounds of it and then I have enough milk to fill my glass jar for, it should, depending on what I'm making, it should last me like a few days. But I know I've heard of the almond cow and that is like a bigger thing. This one's just nice because it's just small. It's just one thing. You can also do like drinks in here too. So I've made like lattes and coffee and stuff. Look how easy it is. To make nut milk we are going okay no beeping i got some cashews organic cashews from costco these things come with the nutter and we're just gonna take 
one scoop. Isn't that crazy? That's it. Well, we need to add water, but like that's, I always thought you had to have like a lot of nuts um, to make nut milk, but cashew milk, very simple. And then just add water to it. Sometimes I just add it from the sink, but I probably will need more. Empty this out. I'm just eyeballing it, but really, I think it's like one tablespoon of cashews to one cup of water. So we'll do two cups of water and two tablespoons of cashews. Here's what it looks like. And the nutter does come with this little strainer, which kind of came undone. I need to figure out how to make that stay again, which can just go over your cup and like really easily drain inside your cup. But since we're doing a bit more, I like to use this strainer over a bowl. And you can totally add like other things like vanilla to it um, or dates to it depending if you want like a sweeter milk but I don't really drink my milk plain I usually add my milk to smoothies so I don't really need the extra stuff in it um and I found that at least adding the dates kind of makes the consistency consistency the consistency a little off so I don't know you experiment girl you do what you need to do Here's my mini Amazon haul. I got this really big water bottle for comparison. This is, I think, 16 ounces, and this is 42 ounces. They also have it in like this pretty tan color, which I wanted, but it was like sold out. So I think it might be available in a couple weeks. Hey, what are you doing? You, you, hey. You're in trouble. <laughs> You're in trouble. Big water bottle. Very excited. Need to be drinking a gallon a day, so. Hey Google, how many ounces are in a gallon? To convert from liquid gallons to fluid ounces, multiply unit of volume I don't, by 128. I don't want a formula. One liquid gallon is equivalent to 128 fluid ounces. What's 128 divided by 42? Is approximately 3.05. Okay, so I need to drink three of these a day. Next thing I got was this little vitamin organizer, which I thought was very cute. So you can just open it up, throw those in, and then I got some vitamin D from this brand. You wanna try a cucumber? Sit. Pretty. 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 <laughs> okay. What do you think? Crunchy? Delicious? <laughs> you don't seem too sold on it. <laughs> what if I take it? Then will you eat it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, not so much. You don't really like veggies. I 
I made a little snack. Some cucumbers with salt and chili lime seasoning. I don't normally buy cucumbers, but we had one left over. Um, this is a good snack. It's very close. It has the crunch of a potato chip, so I feel like if I had some like hummus or something to dip these in, that would be so good. But I want to talk about habits a little bit because a huge part of a health journey is your habits. And it's about changing your habits one by one to become healthier. So I would highly recommend reading um, Brain. Because thanks. Come on, Brain. Atomic Habits. So I would highly recommend reading the book Atomic Habits. That has given me a whole new perspective on how to change habits, why things are the way they are, why some things are easier to change than others. So one of the things he talks about a lot is changing our environment. Actually changing your environment can really help because habits are just a cycle of, let me put in the diagram. You have your cue, you have your response, and you have your reward. So my cue could be I go in the kitchen and I see a bag of chips. That triggers me to then take action and eat the chips. My reward is I had a crunchy snack that I like. So one way you can change your environment is to not have chips on the counter or in sight or in cabinets. So one thing I did, we did have a bit of processed foods left over from when my friend Stacy was in town. So I was like, maybe thinking about just taking them all to, cause they're all like little packaged bags. I was like, maybe we can take these to church. People can eat them there. But for now they're in Kyle's closet. So he can have a snack closet, but I will not be triggered when I see them. You can also transfer that and replace it with healthy things. So I noticed when my friend Stacy was here, she would have a bowl of fruit out on the countertops with apples and oranges. And I ate way more oranges than I have in my whole life just because they were on the cabinet because I was responding to that cue. So just that's some food for thought. I'll, I'm going to continue to explain habit changes and things like that but I would really recommend reading that book all right now I need to print off my food guide and also my habit tracker we have this food guide and then for my habit tracker I just searched habit tracker on canva and there are a bunch of templates so I'm gonna pick one of these and then customize it with what I need on there but yeah, and then from here you can just print it off All right, here is my week one habit tracker. I have every like supplement that I need to do. I also have my water tracker. So I just put each circle represents 42 ounce water bottle. I'm gonna start the first week with three a day, which is a little bit under a gallon. And then the next week I'll probably do either three and a half or move it to four. And then I decided to do a reward system. So if I, I'm consistent with all of these the first week I can get a exercise mat week two an aloe top week three aloe bottom and week four new gym shoes <laughs> I'm very motivated by things I don't know budget wise might have to switch these a little bit but we will see and now I have my list of approved and not approved foods so i'm gonna look over this i also have my week one meal plan that i need to look over if you want to use the habit tracker i'll have a link in the description you guys can go in and you can customize it you can customize the rewards or if you want to just take off the rewards you can take off the water tracker you can change all the goals can do whatever you want with it because it's just a template and I think it can just be customized to whatever you want. We need to go grocery shopping so I just looked over my approved and unapproved foods and now I'm going to go through the meal plan and just see which recipes I actually want to make. Also found a juicer on Facebook marketplace for only $25 so definitely gonna try to pick that up tomorrow and yeah 
that's the update all right just printed off and went through all the recipes for week one and the grocery list right now i'm going to go through the list and cross off things that i already have um and then probably head to the store Is chivalry dead? Could it be that chivalry has died? Grocery haul time. Lots of produce. We got some zucchini, spaghetti squash, onions, lemons, avocado. Did get this sauce, which actually has pretty good ingredients. The only thing I wish it didn't have is the grapeseed oil. We got some sauerkraut, chipotle flavored. This probiotic yogurt, plain. And I usually have two servings so I just this will last me like two or three breakfasts um, with some like a lot of fruit in it and then you can add like maple syrup or honey Costco we got some pink salmon some kimchi which this was a local um, excuse me you want to focus it's a local one blueberries we got lots of sweet potato, I got six. Um, if you guys haven't tried sweet potato fries in the air fryer, would highly recommend. They're so good. Got some mango, ginger, a lot of herbs. We got dill, chives, mint for water and also smoothies, and basil for pesto, green bean, spinach, and then these were some items that are kind of like a one-time buy. Um, so I shouldn't have to like repurchase this every week, but it's coconut flour, some hemp seeds, and we have some coconut milk for smoothies, seasoning for the Thai soup that is on the meal plan, almond butter, artichoke hearts, brown rice, and then this aloe, which again, like just this alone is $20 like $20, this was $10, this was probably like $7, but everything from Whole Foods, which is pictured here for the most part, was $150. So if I didn't have like these like one-time buys, it would be probably been closer to like $120-ish, maybe even less. And then from Costco, we got stuff to juice, celery, carrots, apples, also to snack on. I am so hungry because I didn't have any approved foods in the house, so like I've barely eaten today, which is very unlike me. I love to eat. I want, I love, like I just can't go more than a couple hours without eating. So I'm so hungry. I had like an apple in the car after I went grocery shopping. So now I'm going to probably try to make one of the recipes for this week. Um, tonight is pesto chicken and spaghetti squash. That's what's See on you. the menu. Thank you. Yep. Um, but I don't have any defrosted chicken. Actually, you know what? I think I do. So I could probably make that. That's pretty easy. I just need to make this pesto squash and throw the squashes in the oven.
Okay. I'm gonna try the aloe vera juice. I'm supposed to take three tablespoons three times a day. And I've never tried it before. So don't know what to expect. I'm hoping it's very mild. I've had like those aloe vera drinks, but those are like filled with sugar. Okay. Literally just tastes like water with a hint of like lime. Set when it goes down a little bit. Some sweet potato fries, which look about done. Literally, all I did was cut up sweet potatoes, put a little olive oil and seasoning. I did cinnamon, paprika, salt, and pepper. And you put them in the air fryer. I need a bigger air fryer. This one is just not cutting it anymore. I got like this mini one from Target, but could definitely use more room.